so I uh, sorry for the longer break. I had to get myself some more. I was feeling dizzy after all that spinning. Uh, if you haven't caught the last run, well, hello, I'm Catalyst. Uh, I'm gonna be running Mirror's Edge right now. It's not as Mimi. Oh, nice. Okay, what a start. It's not as Mimi uh, as uh, the Spinador, but it's still pretty Mimi. Especially if you die on the first jump of the game. Well, anyhow, uh. There's a lot of movement tech involved in this game. By many, it is actually considered as one of the hardest games to speedrun, if not the hardest. Uh, it's kind of hard to commentate it solo, but since it was like last... Hold on. So, since it was like put on at the last possible moment, I'm gonna try to do my best to explain everything uh, alone. So, you're, you've already seen shit tons of action happening. So, I'm gonna explain. This sidestep that you saw, like me flicking to the side, that's, as I said, that's called the sidestep or side jump. What it does is it completely skips the acceleration and I get to top speed instantly, like that. Uh, other stuff you're gonna be seeing is nice, it's bunny hopping. Uh, that climb wasn't supposed to be that bad, obviously, but. Uh, Another stuff you're gonna be seeing is bunny hopping. Every bunny hop saves 0.1 seconds exactly. Next thing you're gonna be seeing is wall boosting. That is, jumping into a wall and jumping off of the wall as soon as possible gives me a big speed boost. Uh, the bigger, like the, the deeper I look into the wall, the bigger boost I get. And now for the most important thing, for the most important trick in the game, uh, is the kick glitch. It's the most used thing. And it's the coolest glitch as well. Uh, basically, the game gives you one frame invisible platform beneath you when you do certain actions. When you roll, when you well run on a wall and you jump out of the wall, uh, you also get this platform. Now, off of that platform, you can actually do anything you want to. You can slide, you can uh, punch, you can you can do whatever. But obviously, the best thing to do is to jump. Now, since every key glitch is actually uh, a frame perfect trick. What we have done is we bounce uh, jump to mouse wheel. I mean, yeah, to mouse wheel. And what I do after every uh, kick from the wall, I wait a little bit and I time the scroll in a way that actually, you know, I get the jump every time. That way I get a lot of speed because the faster you go into the kick glitch, the faster you're gonna get out of the kick glitch and stuff like that. You can also angle them and stuff, but we'll get to that later on. Here you saw me do the first button glitch. Basically, if you're stuck in animation, jumping, sliding, and what we've done is uh, we've bound in like interaction button to mouse wheel as well. So if you're stuck in that action and then you spin the button, spin the mouse wheel, uh, what happens is uh, you can completely skip the button press animation. These cops are RNG, 15% for them to kill me, which they did, of course, because it's a marathon. Uh, going around loses four seconds. Dying is a reset, obviously. Gonna try my luck for the second time. Thank you. Uh, coming up's gonna be. Chapter 1 skip, uh, it skips like a nice portion of the of the first chapter because you don't have to go through event and stuff like that, that's like very annoying. So hopefully I can actually get this right, I'm gonna wait out the lag that's happening here. And I died, nice. Uh, so basically what I need to do here is get a straight kick glitch along the wall, which is what I got. And then I need to get into a wall boost off of the wall. And I'm gonna get on the top of the slide that is there. Oh, what is going on? So this is like the backup that I, uh, I'm gonna be doing, hopefully. Oh, nice. So, uh... I'm giving this another attempt and I'm gonna reset, okay? Because that's what we do at my stream. <laughs> uh, no, but, uh... Let me try to focus on this so I don't embarrass myself anymore. There we go. Okay, so the first time I did get the straight kick glitch, but I looked too far into the wall so I didn't get any, any boost, okay? Uh, right now I'm only a uh, minute and 20 seconds behind already, that's all good. So anyway, uh, this is flight. It's a little... Yeah, it's got... Quite a bit of little tech. I can get like a ground key glitch right here, which generates boost. I can coil. Oh, that's another thing I haven't really talked about, which is coiling. You see like how her legs pop out. Not pop out, that would be weird, but how they pop up. 
Uh, that's the coil that I'm doing. It allows me to conserve speed and it also allows me to like get over higher obstacles. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I'm doing you might not even notice and there's a lot of stuff going on that I won't even mention really. But uh, for example that one climb I did over the railing that's like a, a tricky one as well otherwise you would get a, like a slower one. There I got stuck on a invisible collision box which is great. I'm gonna hope I don't die to these cops. I didn't. Okay, very nice. Let's see if I can get this clip. It's not too hard. So this is the first elevator clip of the game. Usually they work in a different way. Usually you jump into the corner and then scroll the wheel to press the button and you get boosted to the top of the elevator. This one works differently and you can get boosted up uh, by ju only just by jumping into the corner at a certain timing. And then the game boosts you up because like you switch into the elevator mode, sort of. So, another thing with kick glitching is that you can lose height with them if you wall around the wall if, or if you jump in them. I wall run there to be able to survive the fall down there. And I wall run enough to actually not even have to roll. Because if you like drop down from a pretty big height, what happens is you have to roll and that's not very nice. So, another really cool thing, you can chain wall boost and you can chain kick glitches as well. You saw me get a double boost there, here as well. I'm gonna try to do it again. Boost off of the pillar, boost off of the wall. Uh, not climb up, but whatever. I'm gonna do a couple of p ops here. I'll run around them, get into a kick glitch. And this kick glitch uh, saves quite a bit of time. You can make it all the way over this gap so you don't have to go up like upstairs at all and this is the end of chapter 1. That was not a very good chapter 1, I'm a minute and 15 seconds behind, I actually have my splits running. But yeah, uh, chapter 2. Chapter 2 is a, is a quite a bit of a bitch. Right at the start I'm gonna be going for a 40 second time save, 45 second time save, which is probably the hardest trick in the game. I mean, not the hardest trick, but it's like... On the route I'm gonna be doing today, it's probably the hardest skip. Uh, it can be rivaled by one thing I will do in chapter 3, but we'll see. So, it's called... It's the, it's the canal skip, also known as cannoli in the Mirsage community, and out of, outside of it as well. It's pretty notorious. Used to be a segment of strat. I actually managed to pull this off at the SA Germany, so hopefully I can do it again. Wish me luck. Ay, 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 that's not good. Uh, okay, so basically it's a chain of four key glitches. It loses a lot of time if you fail it because you get spawned to the start. And it's chain of four key glitches and you need to make sure you don't lose any height because if you do, you cannot get the last wall run and get the fourth key glitch. Uh, now I'm actually thinking, am I going to be doing it again or should I just go for the normal routes? I'm not sure. I'm probably just going to try it one more time. Like The thing is, we still need to kill some time because we're really ahead of the schedule. So, at this point, what I'm gonna try to do is just try to make this run entertaining. Not really, because uh, it's not very good. So I'm gonna try to do it again. Like, I had the right high, but... Wow, okay. Let's not go for it again, I guess. I can show you the other way. What happened here is, is I uh, dropped accidentally back into bounds, and that way I... Uh, that's like a place where... You cannot get out of. So that's quite unfortunate. Like, this game could really use some of that spinning we saw in El Matador. That would be pretty good. So, anyway, I'm not gonna be doing for Cannoli again. I guess. I mean, I, I kinda want to. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll do it one more time. This is like one of. This is like if you, if you tune into me in the mornings, this is what I do. I do a no resets and it kind of looks like this. It's garbage. I'm gonna make sure I don't fall back in bounds this time, okay? And let's see if I can actually pull this off. I hope I do. I'm gonna try to flick the camera this time. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I didn't get the last kick glitch the last time. Or rather the first time. 
but uh, I did get it this time and you pretty much hit a huge checkpoint trigger that's down here in the stone drains and that's that it saves around 45 seconds uh, we probably saved like minus two minutes so in the stone drains this area is quite laggy which is kind of stupid because the devs just fucked up a lot like this game is not very well optimized that was one shortcut I did. I can sidestep on this uh, railing thing, whatever the heck that was, to skip like the balancing animation. I can get a fast climb over here, which is another skip. Uh, I can get a jump on this railing into a B-hop and skip this climb up animation by flicking my mouse and getting uh, and jumping. Uh, wall boost over that springboard, and there's a hidden springboard over here that I'm gonna take. Nice climb up, that's good. If you can get a slower one there, I got the fast one. Uh, don't die, okay, I just died. Well, this is what happens in, in marathons, you know, like, if this happened in a, in a normal run, I'd be resetting 10 times already, but... What happened there is my uh, keyboard and mouse coordination was not intact, so instead of getting a sidestep, I actually accidentally just jumped. I'm gonna press this button, and... This is like a nice climb up sequence. Yeah. Off of this slide you normally get like a hard fall animation, but if you scroll the wheel and jump out of it immediately, uh, you don't have it, you don't get it, so you can just, you know, get into a wall run, get to this side. Uh, press the button, get under the gate. Now I'm gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, one more was needed. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna be doing a couple of tricky climbs. I'm gonna be using like this elevator thing, whatever the heck it is, to get a wall climb on it like that. Turn jump and get like to the higher floor. Press the button again. Press the button, I said. There we go. And uh, let's just hope I don't die here like at USA Germany. Uh, the, 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 the place where it spawns or like when it gets up is actually random. What happened at USA Germany was I wasn't looking at the screen for some reason. And then all of a sudden the crane was like pretty close so I just panicked, jumped and I died. Actually, I hit the crane, but then I jumped again and by accident and died. Uh, so here you're gonna be seeing uh, another elevator clip, like that. Now I need to listen. And when he says, like, when he's in the middle of saying working, I gotta drop off the elevator, because otherwise I get stuck on top of it, and that's not good. And if I drop too soon, the next area doesn't load in time, so I actually just drop down to my death. Now I can't do anything here, because the game still thinks I'm in an elevator. So I was just waiting for it to, uh, like, get me unstuck. This is like a little bit of a tricky kick glitch, because that wall is just weird. So now we're in a jackknife chase. Uh, this is like a... I would say it's a pretty, pretty actually hard sequence of the run. There's like quite a bit of stuff that can go wrong, and if you fail it, you don't necessarily die, but you're gonna lose a lot of time. So Jackknife is running along with us, that's like the dude that you're supposed to be chasing, but he's invisible. You saw him being bugged at the start, so I'm gonna do this antenna. Ah, that was actually a pretty good, that was actually a perfect Jackknife, pretty much. Uh, this, there I would normally just quit out, because this game has load removal, but since we're going RT I'm not gonna do it. Uh, I free scroll this elevator. I say free scroll, but I don't have a free scroll mouse. Like, you, you can free scroll the elevator to make it faster. Nice. I don't have a free scroll mouse, but the community actually allowed, like, free scroll macros, so I, I use one of those. I died here because I'm not playing well, but that's fine. And this is the end of uh, chapter. What is it? Chapter 2. So, start of chapter 3, uh, 
I want to get a boost here, which I didn't. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to be skipping a roll thanks to this kick glitch. You saw me jumping into it again. I actually lost height. Now I'm going to be trying to kick glitch off of this pole. Getting an alt climb, which is basically this game has a hint key, which is supposed to help you, like, navigate. Right? And if I press it right now, it just turns my camera to the next spot where I'm supposed to go. But if you do it as you turn jumping away from the wall, you're like, and you're at the right spot, you turn 180 and you basically jump off the wall but get back onto the wall. Uh, here's like a little tricky thing that you can do. I'm gonna be kick glitching off of this. Now I'm gonna be getting in those doors to get a checkpoint. I'm gonna be attempting the second hardest uh, skip in the game. Or not in the game, but in the route. It consists of me climbing on top of this building. Like, the climb itself is already pretty tricky. It shouldn't be too hard. Ah, there we go. So that was the climb. And now I need to get a uh, 2k glitch chain into, like, really good wall boosts. Ah, uh, that's, that's fine. Okay, so what's happening here? This saves 38 seconds, 40 if you shit at office. And basically what I did is I just hit a trigger, checkpoint trigger, at a 3C, so I went from the first part of the third chapter to the third part. There are four parts of this chapter. So this is 3C right now, I'm dead. Nice. And, uh... That checkpoint is, like, very inconveniently placed. It's, like, in a really tricky spot to hit, so... That's why the trick, or the skip, is actually hard. Because you need to like get really good wall boost, look really deep into the walls to get enough speed and keep enough height. I'm gonna be doing a little chain there, that was weird. Okay, so I'm dead again in this section, that's very nice. Like all the deaths just ignore them, okay? We're just gonna splice it up a little bit so the vault looks better. Uh, so this is the 3C as I was saying, okay? This is the first take. I haven't been here today yet, right? Yeah, this is what was supposed to happen. That's more like it. Okay, there's still one more thing to fail. Okay, we didn't fail it. Nice. So I'm gonna be getting a couple of wall boosts again. Uh, that was supposed to be a kick glitch there, but I missed it. Ah. Uh, you're supposed to skip the climb up animation there if you jump in time. So, coming up is uh, 3D, which is like, there is there is the probably the single most, I would say the hardest single kick glitch in the game. It's uh, the crane kick, crane's kick glitch. It's like a kick glitch that I've never actually gotten, even though I've tried for like maybe an hour and a half. Oh, I'm, I'm, I quit out here, even though it's RTA, because if you start running while the screen is like flashing white, you get like a weird speed boost, so it still saves time. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a little climb here to get out of bounds. Basically, a uh, wall climb into sidestep into wall boost to get on top of the vent. Uh, I just hope I'm not gonna die here. Which I didn't, very nice. But that's basically uh, a pretty tricky kick glitch because the wall is like weird. You cannot wall run on a certain portion of the, of the wall. And I don't want to die here anywhere, because if I do, what's going to happen is uh, I'm actually going to spawn back at the elevator, because you skip all the checkpoints with this route. I don't want that. Now, here you're supposed to jump into this thing, and then you get a hard landing, but you can just turn jump midair and, and strafe, and you get this, like, slide thing. So there I hit the trigger, and now this run is so shit I can't take it anymore, and I commit suicide. I'm not trying cranes because I've never gotten them. They save 20 seconds, it's really, really hard, and it's not worth it for me at all. So chapter 4. Chapter 4 has like a pretty big skip right at the start. So this is like a tricky wall run sequence, I mean wall climb sequence, where you get on top of the like door frame, and off of that you get all the way up. You skip a little bit of platforming, and now I'm gonna try to go out of bounds, like that. And I'm gonna drop into this direction. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be hitting uh, a checkpoint trigger and the load trigger. I wait for the ground to load so I can suicide. Bam. And now I'm like 
very close to the end of fourth chapter, pretty much. Like, normally chapter four is actually quite long, but this is just this is quite this is like this break is all good. So there's a train coming behind me, but if I get good enough wall boost, I can actually outrace him. Get like two more. Nice. When it comes, it's actually RNG. So sometimes you can like screw up the wall boost a lot and still outrace it. And sometimes you can screw up just a little bit and, and you will die anyway, so... Just, you you wanna be good. You wanna be pretty good there. So here I actually... I think this chapter is faster than in my PB right now, so that's very nice. And this is another tunnel with another train, which is RNG again. Uh, it's... I don't know, I hate this part. Like, sometimes it comes in, sometimes it doesn't. This time it did, and what you want to do is you want to jump on these fucking pipes to avoid it. I haven't died here in a while, which is nice, but I used to die there a lot when the drain came, actually. So, that makes me quite happy. Maybe the run is actually gonna get better now. So, here I want to get like a... It's a little bit of a tricky wall run here, because there's like a platform above you, this thing that I'm about to land on. And if you bonk your head into it, you're not gonna get to the top of that other platform where the bomb is, and... Here I'm just gonna get onto the train in a tricky way, because I want my style points. And this is an auto-scroller. This might actually be a gold, we'll have to see. Maybe this can still PB, Kappa. I'm gonna actually take a sip of water. Because I've been talking a lot. I don't want to get hit, because if you start like the jump animation and get hit by those things, you can actually die, because you don't jump. It sucks. So there's a point where you can like, there's a, there's a place on the train where you can actually uh, just uh, jump on the ground and, and you won't die, even though you will take damage. Like, you won't get hit by enough obstacles to die. I just I, I just died a couple of times, that, uh, even doing that way. Doing it that way, sorry, so uh, I just dodged them. So I hug this sign because it's a good sign and I save 8 seconds. Also, I just golded by 7 seconds, which is pretty crazy. So, chapter 5. Chapter 5 is a bitch. It's a it's a pretty hard chapter. Uh, yeah, that's the first reason why this key glitch is a little tricky. It's not as tricky, but... All here is weird, and I also want to wall run for a little bit. I need to lose enough height, and I'm hitting like a very thin... Invisible wall with this. This should be fine. Yeah, so this incredibly high for some reason invisible wall Is there and I'm dead. Oh my god, okay. I Guess this Kiglitch wants me to talk about it a little more I also roll here because normally I would get a hard landing. So let's try not to die this time I have to get this Kiglitch to those height and not die As I said the wall is pretty thin so the Kiglitch setup is like it's pretty free, I'm just bad, but it's like, it's a little bit more precise than you'd expect it to be. I wanna get some boosts, obviously didn't get them. Now in this in this part, this part is quite funny. This part is a part for me, because I wanna go a little bit slower in here, otherwise the next area is not gonna load in time, and I'm actually gonna get a soft log and I'm gonna have to restart the chapter. So I like that part, because I go slow. What the fuck, I went as slow as possible and it didn't load? Okay, that's like the first time that has happened to me. In the run ever, I only did it while I was practicing. Well, that's interesting. Well, that's what happens. The elevator that's supposed to be there isn't there. And I'm gonna be dying here a bit again, because I'm just thrown off. I'm gonna blame it on the game. It's not my fault. I might die here. Oh, okay. I thought I would go too far. It was actually quite close. Okay, get this Kiglish. Like, the, the th another thing with Kiglishes is that you want to, like, kick as soon as you get under the wall. If you kick too late, you go flying to the side. If you kick too soon, uh, obviously you're just gonna like kick me there and not even get onto the wall. So there's a lot of stuff behind the, the the game that you don't see. The thing is, I should not be failing most of this stuff. That's okay. Okay, I'm just gonna stand here. Okay. And now, if it doesn't load in time, I'm gonna uninstall the game. Okay, I can hear the cops, so it actually loaded in time. There we go. Another elevator clip. And I'm, I'm just gonna do 5p at this point, like, why not? Yeah, I'm doing this on purpose to fix the schedule, that's why I'm gonna attempt 5p. 
Let's see if I can actually do this. I haven't done it in a while. It's not that hard. Oh, I'm just... I just died. Nice. Eh, that's fine. I can do it again, right? Um, it's like a cool, cool chain. I want to show it off. And I was too high, so I actually climbed back up to the same platform. Okay, we can just do it again, right? I'm gonna attempt this one more time. Then I'm just gonna do it normally. Like, the normal way is not... Like, this is... I don't know, this this is... Okay, well, whatever. I'm not even kicking off the wall at this point. Like, this is this is what happens if you run Mursage solo in the marathon. Like, you just want a co-commentator, really. So, the other way to do this is to uh, kick glitch off of this antenna. It's a pretty, pretty tricky kick glitch as well, but... It's not as tricky as that chain, and then this kick glitch where I want to lose enough height to not have to roll. This is the place where I would end up after the chain. The chain itself saves like 5 seconds, but it's, I don't know, it's not that hard. Whatever. Well, it's not a reason I should be sucking this much, but at least I'm gonna actually fix the schedule, you know. So this is like a little bit of a tricky elevator. I jump, I roll boost, I, sides, I get into a wall climb and then I sidestep out of that. Uh, this jump I usually don't do, I quit out here, but this, the quit out actually puts you to the other side of the roof. Like, to the other roof, rather. To the other building. Uh, get on this pipe, I can jump off of it a little bit sooner and flick. That way I get a fast climb and don't have to get the stupid climb up animation. This kick glitch is a kick glitch I failed in my PB and lost like 10 seconds. 10 to 15 seconds because of it. Yeah, I probably lost like 20 seconds overall in this very area. Not chapter, just this area. Like, that's another thing I can actually work on. I can get a double wall boost there, but instead I decided not to get a single boost. I'm gonna try to do New Eden, because why not? I just... Oh my god, that was clutch. So there's a New Eden chain right there. It's a pretty hard chain, I just wanted to show it off, and I almost died again. I was lucky enough to grab the edge of the, uh, of the building. That's very nice. Oh wow, I cannot even do that. Basically, what I was supposed to do there is a kick glitch into a wall run. Uh, the thing with kick glitch into if it, with uh, kick glitches into wall run, by the way, hidden spring boost or springboard. If you want to get a kick glitch into a wall run, it's quite tricky because, like, as you're scrolling the wheel to get the kick glitch, you're also scrolling the wheel. You know, you're pretty much just jumping, so you're just jumping off of the wall. So, what you want to do is like you want to get this timing very polished and just. It's, it's like, it's not frame perfect, but it's quite, quite precise, actually. I'm not that, actually, I'm not that far behind. I'm like only, I don't know, six, this should be sub 40 IGT. That's nice. Maybe if I don't fuck up more. So I want to get boost off of these pillars. That third pillar is just retarded. I don't like it. Then I want to jump on this pole. I also want to jump at a certain point, which I didn't, because that would give me a fast climb. That's all right. Coming up is going to be the beamer, okay? So beamer is a frame-perfect trick. It's a very precise uh, sequence of inputs. And basically, there's like a collision box on the wall. And if I turn at the collision box, hold on. Let's try easy every time, lads. So that's like the first thing that was actually good in this run, except for chapter four. Uh, so basically there's like a, there's a collision box on the wall and if you turn at the frame where you actually hit that collision box you get a very 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 big boost and if you what the hell if you turn jump at that same f not not f yeah if you turn jump at that same frame you keep that boost while jumping off of the wall and you save like 45 seconds because you skip like taking an elevator to the second floor of the mall. My throat is getting pretty dry. I hope I'm not talking too much, I'm just trying to say what I'm doing really. It's like, I know this is a very fast paced platformer. There is a lot of stuff going on. Oh, they have a goddamn machine gun but I don't give a goddamn damn. Uh, well, there's a vent here. I want to skip the climb up animation because it's super slow. Coming up is going to be uh, chapter 6. How far behind on schedule are we, by the way? I can still fail some stuff. Be one last door and you're 
So I, I, uh, I, you know. Well, it was more of a just fun marathon, really. It was nothing, nothing very official. It's just for us to have fun, which we are, hopefully. So I'm gonna get on this uh, zipline. I can actually get a kick glitch with this momentum. Let's hope I can do it. Uh, actually, yeah, I made it. So I'm not gonna be taking the checkpoint here, because I'm a YOLO maniac and I never fell this. See? So basically what I did here, you don't remember, at the start of prologue, I was saying that rolling actually gives you that in one frame invisible platform, just like uh, kicking off of a wall does. Well, that's what I used there. I jump on an incredibly high invisible hole. Let me do this. I jump on an incredibly high invisible wall, roll off the edge, and that way I can actually survive falling. Because I like, you know, drop off that one frame invisible platform, which is actually lower. And then I just do a kick glitch back in bounds and load this factory. But there I press the button through the entire, uh, wall, through the entirety of the wall. That's kind of weird, but you get what I mean. This is like a little tricky grab that I want to do. And now watch this, okay? I'm going to show you the power of free scroll. Watch this elevator. Oh, that's a speedy elevator, if you ask me. I gotta say, he's probably been watching Spinador a little bit. Spinning left, right, and center, and getting those speedy boosts better than we do. So this part is naturally very laggy even with good PCs, because the game is just poorly made. Uh, another free scroll macro to speed up this elevator saves 0.2 seconds. <laughs> Room. I'm sorry. Okay, so anyway, you skip that cutscene that you're in, and this is like a pretty, pretty, pretty easy section. Like, there, there's, as I said, there's gonna be a lot of stuff you don't see, like me getting these fast climbs. That's like what I'm doing is I'm jumping towards an obstacle, then I'm letting go of W so I don't get like an automatic climb up animation, and I can get higher so I don't like I don't get the climb up animation as soon. So I can get higher in the jump, and then I, when I'm at the apex of the jump, I press W again, and I can climb up onto the obstacle, and I don't get a slow climb up animation that way. I can get like a kick glitch into a wall boost here, I can get another little boost here, oh my god. Oh, okay, that's fine. I can get a ground kick glitch off of that. There's gonna be a hit. this is actually, this is like not a bad chapter really, I haven't really failed anything. Except now I'm gonna die, yeah. See, like, that. I'm, I'm not doing this on purpose, guys. I just knew it's gonna happen. See, that was like a better, better ground kick glitch. I'm gonna try taking that hidden springboard again, okay? I'm not crazy just vault, vault, vaulting to nowhere. There's a hidden springboard that I can take. And this death is like, dying here is, for me, kind of normal. It doesn't really lose that much time because you have a checkpoint right here. As I said, this game has a load removal. But what I need to do there is I need to keep my sideways momentum in order to uh, actually keep that momentum even for the wall boost. You know? I, that, that wasn't really clear, but I can drop from this a little bit earlier and save frames. That's great. But yeah, that, like, it's a, it's pretty tricky, because off of that first kick glitch, you can keep the momentum, but you got a wall boost on the first frame from the wall, which I didn't, unfortunately. So this is the boat. Boat is a very nice chapter. It's one of my, oh, what was that? It's one of my favorites, actually. Yeah. Gonna see why, because there's like that big-ass boat right there. And you're supposed to enter that big-ass boat, and you're supposed to do, and I'm dead. Ugh. And you're supposed to enter that big ass boat. And on that big ass boat, there's a lot of stuff that you need to do. There are assassins that you need to kick their ass off. And, uh, yeah, there's just basically a lot of stuff that you need to do on that boat, right? But that, that's not really, uh, it doesn't sound too inviting, does it? I mean, this whole run hasn't been too inviting, but that's a different topic. So I just get out of bounds with these two little kick glitches, uh, these very solid cars, I like them, like solid performance, very nice. And there's like a fence over here, I need to get over it. Get a wall climb, uh, this wall climb was badly uh, timed. 
There we go. And I need to drop down here. Now the reason, watch, bottom left, boom, icon. That's a checkpoint. Guess where that checkpoint is? It's actually 7F, which is the last checkpoint of the entire chapter. Usually this chapter takes like 55 seconds. Right now it took double, but that's okay. So now I need to kick Celeste in the dick, which she doesn't have. Oh, this fight's gonna be weird. Yeah. So I need to get a kick, then two punches, another dick kick. I mean, get a punch, quick punch, then two punches, another big punch, another punch, and then this arm. And that's how we do the fight. Oh wow, that's the wrong side. I was actually watching Chad and sidestep to the other side. I went for that bull boost because I'm an idiot, but I didn't die, so that's nice. I'm gonna drop on that little like button there, because that skips a roll animation. Oh, this is... I wasn't supposed to get stuck there. Like, these cards can be pretty big dicks, but it's fine. Okay, he actually hit me. That's like, stops my ability to move a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, this part, again, just getting a fast climb. Then you go into uh, this noob slayer. That wasn't like a normal kick glitch. I sidestep out of that. This is regular elevator, pretty good jams. Well, you don't really know if Celeste is a woman, you know, but... It's just my two cents on that. So, this is 8B. Uh, 8B can be... Not nice sometimes. I wanna lose height on this kick glitch. Then I wanna kick glitch off of this pole. And get two fast climbs. That's the first one. Second one. And I can skip these pipes by getting a straight kick glitch and looking away get into a wall run and get on top of this, which is pretty much out of bounds already. You're not supposed to be here. And I'm gonna be dropping into a checkpoint right here. Boom. And this gets me to Atrium. Atrium is a nice section. Like, I like that section kind of. I kind of do. Uh, it's a lot of platforming. There's like, it's, it's pretty smooth if you do it right. There's some really cool stuff. So I wanna be Dying first. That's that's exactly what I need to do, actually. Right? So, uh, yeah, that uh, spawn the trigger. Sure. No, uh, I want to chain turn jumps. Like that. I need to be, like, flicking. I land on, like, electric box. Get from the top of that. There's a checkpoint here, so if I die, I'm gonna spawn there. That's nice. I don't have to jump over this because I have enough speed. Wanna get as many fast climbs as possible. This is like little tricky uh, turn jump right there. Wanna get on top of this. Uh, wall climb, which is a little tricky as well. I wanna get into a wall boost, which I didn't, so that's unfortunate. But it's fine. I can just do it again. I didn't die this time. That's nice. See, like wall boost like that, and then one more turn jump. And another one. I'm gonna get these boosts, because why the fuck not, even though they can kill me pretty easily if I'm bad, which I am. And I'm gonna be skipping the vents by jumping into... what? Did I just miss the... what? Oh, I just missed the checkpoint, so... That's unfortunate. What the hell? Okay, I was not expecting that. Uh, I don't think that has... Ever, ever, yeah, that has actually happened to me once in a run, I think. So, we're gonna watch Atrium again, because it's, it's a very nice level. I need practice in here, so that's why I'm doing it all over again. Not all over, but you know what I'm saying. I'm just gonna climb up here, I don't wanna die, really. Okay, let's, let's hope we hit the checkpoint this time, okay? Line up, jump. Hooray! Very nice. Okay, this is Convoy. Convoy is pretty funny. I need to die here. I've been very good at it. Let's hope I can do it fast. I actually need to die here. And this was a pretty fast death, so that was very nice. Okay, I'm gonna get the rifle. I'm gonna get here. Also, you know why my run is so shit? That's because, look at top left. I'm playing on controller right now, okay? I'm getting these frame perfect glitches on controller without the scroll wheel. And I'm gonna shoot the building and that shoots the convoy because I hit a sprite, so like, you know. It's not very clear as to how that works, but you need to die there, and that just allows you to shoot the sprite. It saves like two seconds, I think, maybe four. 
And here I'm gonna be using the rolls again to survive like higher height fall. <laughs> Do it once. Okay, I didn't roll this time. Don't kill me. Oh, okay. I wanna roll again, because th then this thing won't actually happen. So roll. That was not a roll, babe. Yeah, let's do some, uh... Let's do some... Okay, that still killed me. Okay, I'm actually trying to, uh... Improvise a little bit, but then it didn't work. So this is what you want to do. You want to get into another roll, into a sidestep. Grab this if you can, drop down, and get to the end of the chapter. I'm matching my controller right now. This is cross, okay? So, uh, chapter 9. That was not... Uh, that was not that bad. Like, that's a strat that you can do there. If you drop down, you obviously lose time, but there's like a pretty fast backup here that is not that bad. You do this. Uh, I would say lower your volume a little bit, but whatever you want, guys. Well, I warned you, don't blame me. So what happens there is I free scroll the, the the valve. That way the fire comes a little bit sooner, but the sound effect gets plays gets played a lot. Lots a lot of times. At the time it's not good, but. I don't know, I just want you guys to actually enjoy the run. If, if you're not enjoying the run, I'm very sorry for that. Uh, it's it's not easy to talk about everything that I'm doing, trying to explain stuff while getting things correctly. So Spyman dies at this elevator. Then going to it, I almost pulled a Spyman there. Now it's got this clip that's pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty hard clip through the elevator. Now I'm gonna be dropping into a certain direct... What? I should be... F Oh, that's gonna be close. I dropped pretty pretty fast. That was that was really weird. Hopefully it's fine. It is okay. Very good. So I hit the first trigger. Then I need to unpause a little bit to hit the loading trigger. Now I'm like in an area where I can hit a checkpoint, and this is the super extended beverage skip, which saves a lot of time. This way of doing it is a lot easier than what it used to be before. So here I'm going to be mashing spacebar for bunny hops, because it's actually faster to do it this way if you're going from zero speed, which I am. This is the sniper skip. I uh, got out of bounds and then I jumped and bunny hopped on the edge of the building. Uh, I'm, the timer, like normal in-game timer, is paused here. It doesn't really matter, I just need to wait here. So like the movement was optimal, but no one gives a fuck. That's the same clip I can do here. Uh, as in the previous elevator, but I didn't pull it off. This clip saves two seconds, though. The other one saves over two minutes. So I just lost like a second because I didn't get it. I feel it's like hate crime. Mercedes runs are pretty cool. What I love about the game and why I like advise you to actually watch the runs like proper runs, like watch some PB, watch the Recky, no, don't watch the Recky because that's a power prone presentation because Philo, but like you can watch Rec, you can even watch my run if you want to hear my voice, which is sexy apparently. Mm. I'm gonna do server room skip, there's like a collision box fucked up here and I can just, normally you're supposed to disarm the guards, shoot the servers, doors open, you can just clip like that. But what I was saying is that watching Mercedes is really good because Every runner has a different route in like little sections, you know, all the details and stuff are like different. I'm gonna be quitting out here to skip a cutscene. And this is gonna be like a 40, like I even pulled a 40, I, fought, I pulled four like in game time, I pulled 40s on my stream, so this is not even that bad. I mean, it is pretty bad, but timer's coming up soon, you know when it's coming, hopefully I don't get the glitch, time. Sup, 40 in game time! It's on my timer, it's 39.59, like sub 40. Like this run is sub mat. 
This run is sub spy, man. Uh, I didn't mean to call you guys out. I'm, I'm just kidding, you know me. Uh, yeah, I was talking about Requiem. And Rixer is a good guy as well, obviously. Uh, yeah, this was Mirror's Edge by me. I'm currently ninth place. This run was absolute garbage. I just hope you enjoyed the commentary. I, I did my best to explain everything that I uh, could and everything that I was doing. Oh, I should have... Hold on. Since we are ahead of schedule, I can actually show you guys something. Since we are ahead of schedule, I'm gonna show you something. I forgot. Since I'm ahead, I'm, I'm gonna show you something. Okay, you, you prepare for your nightmares, okay? Prepare to see the nightmares. So this is how you uh, would see the game in third person. It's quite creepy if you ask me. I didn't know she was the Elastic Man from The Incredibles. listen to the song for a little bit. I'm gonna give a couple of shoutouts again. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Matt, because this is my last time being online on this marathon, probably. I want to thank Matt for actually not cancelling. I want to thank Matt for putting this together. And I'm sorry again for kind of, I don't know, I just pissed off. I was really demotivated after some people uh, dropped out. So, sorry about that. I'm really happy I was able to be part of this. Uh, another thing I want to say... Since I was playing in Mirror Search, I just wanna... Hecky's probably not here, but I wanna thank Hecky again, he's the best guy ever, like... Uh, thanks, thanks a lot, Hecky, with all the help. And... Yeah, well, thanks for having me, I guess. Next up is gonna be Sexy Man Warren, also known as Hachti, with Uncharted 1 on PS4 without airwalks. He's really good at that game, so you don't wanna miss that. And yeah, I hope you just enjoyed my runs. I hope they were good fun because this is what it's all about. And that's it from me. Kara is signing out.